Hey guys, we're going to be checking out a new app called Noisy. It's available for free in the Play Store, links in the description below as always. It does require Android 4.3 and above, but it doesn't require root or anything like that, so pretty much anyone can use it if you're on Jelly Bean and above. Now, Noisy is a customizable volume panel replacement. It has a ton of options and themes to choose from. If we take a look at the default Android panel, it's pretty basic, but sometimes it can be downright annoying, especially when watching YouTube videos. You go to change the volume and the panel just sits there in the center of your screen blocking the video. Now with Noisy, we can change its style, location, and timeout. For example, here it's overlaid the status bar, so not as intrusive as smack bang in the center of your display. And applying this to the YouTube video we tested earlier, it's no longer blocking the center of the video and makes viewing and changing the volume less of an annoyance. It comes with a number of themes built in, including the Paranoid Android expandable panel and also a My UI theme. So this is what it looks like when you open the app up and when you go to turn on the service, you will be prompted to allow the app in the accessibility services, otherwise it can't take control of the volume keys. The permissions here look a little scary, but there isn't a way around this to override the volume keys. It does mention it does not collect, share, or store any information, period. So here we go, this is the look and feel section. If we dive into the theme area, this is where you can pick the style of your volume panel. The one I showed earlier is right at the top. There are some which require the pro version, for example, heads up and Windows Phone, but there are a number of free ones to choose from as well, and some even come with music controls. We can see the Apple iOS one here if we try this out, and there it is. You can also change the colors as well, so you can change the background to be white if you prefer. Diving back into themes, there's also an option for invisible, so if you don't want any panel to show up at all, you can choose that. The timeout option allows you to decide how long the panel stays on the screen for. Default is five seconds, we'll change that to two, and you can see that it disappears from the screen a lot quicker. If we test that out in the YouTube video again, you can see the quick timeout basically makes it disappear very quickly. You have some theme specific settings, including things like foreground color and background color, and also bar height as well. Tapping into audio and media, you can select the default music app. I have mine selected for Spotify. I'll show you what that can do a little later. You can have a shortcut to an app by long pressing volume up or down. Below that is the option to have the device make a sound when adjusting volume. And right at the bottom is a pro option so that you can lock the volume control to just one type. For example, you could have the volume rocker just modify the ringer volume or just the media volume. So that's completely up to you, but it is a pro version. You will have to pay for that. Now I mentioned previously about my default music app being Spotify, so let me show you what that can do. If we go ahead and open Spotify here and we'll just play any song that's currently there. Now I've already changed the volume panel to have one with music controls and if we tap the volume buttons, you can see the music controls right there. We can still change the volume, but we can also skip tracks, we can pause it, we can play it again. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It gives you a little bit more control from your volume panel. The lab section is an experimental area, so some of this stuff might not work. The first option is for master volume, so you can have all the volumes linked to one. You then have remote control, so it can gather information from your music applications. The media cloak pro option gives you the ability to hide the panel when you're looking at videos or when you're playing games. The advanced tab gives you some options to help solve some conflicts. For example, ignoring long presses I have active, otherwise it conflicts with taking a screenshot. Same deal with the camera as well. The volume rocker can be used as a shutter button, so you'll probably want that disabled too. Now, as I mentioned, it is a new app, so there are still some bugs. For example, on the Nexus 5, you can't activate the silent mode. It gets as far as vibrate, but doesn't go any further. The dev has acknowledged this, though, and is working on a fix. I also couldn't get the master volume option to work. When it's ticked, it doesn't change any volumes at all on the Nexus 5. Again, it's a bug that I'm pretty sure will be squashed in an upcoming update, seeing as the dev is very active. But yeah, this is pretty much the only application I know of that can do something like this without root, of course, or without any exposed modules. So it's really good for you guys who, you know, don't want to root your device or anything like that. The theme I'm using right now is one of the least intrusive. It doesn't overlay the status bar or take up really any of the screen. It's just that little white bar above the status bar, but it still gives you a visual representation of where your volume is set to without getting in the way of what you're looking at. So yeah, there you go, guys. It's a pretty awesome application. Let me know what you think. Peace out.